Can they help you? Quite empty, Buenos dias. Buenos dias. these kind of shoes on they're slippery on the bottom you have to be careful here because these tiles when they get wet they can get really slippery I've fallen many times here in Cuenca just letting people know you know so I'm walking in the road I'd rather get ran over Actually, Ecuadorians are really good drivers I'm more afraid of slipping on the tiles than getting ran over by an Ecuadorian. I'm not kidding either. <laughs> They're running me down. They're leaving room for me to walk. Another beautiful sunny day in Cuenca, Ecuador. Here's one of those bugs in Cuenca. It got smashed. Can you see it? Well, I like to call them scorp grass. The scorp grass. People smash them. They're, when I see them on the ground, they're usually smashed. I think the, the women in Ecuador don't like them and they step on them because they do look kind of like a scorpion, but they're not. I don't even think they bite. We've walked from San Sebas in downtown, and now we're over here by the Yenincai River. It's another full day of walking across the city of Cuenca, from Centro all the way to Yenincai. We're almost, in a little while, going to be at Primero de Mayo up here. Cuenca is definitely a walking city. We're nearing also the Don Bosco area after we pass Primero de Mayo right here. We're just eating at the San Sebas Cafe in the San Sebas Square with a lovely Ecuadorian family from the U.S. They're going to move here. Beautiful family. Wasn't that a nice breakfast we had this morning, hon? Yeah, we had a nice uh, breakfast with uh, a wonderful family, returning uh, Ecuadorian-American family. It's always a pleasure to uh, to meet nice people like that.
beans. I don't get any of those. I'm eating black beans, but I do have fermented butter in my crackers to go with my, and these are integral crackers. Yeah, she can still eat crackers.